You're watching episode 47 of the Tax Smart Daily, a daily video series for real estate investors to learn how to be tax smart. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications about future videos that we release. Thanks for watching another episode of the Tax Smart Daily. I'm Brandon Hall, a CPA, and I invite you to join our Facebook group and our Tax Smart newsletter. Links to both of those are in the description of this video. Additionally, highly recommend that you check out our premium membership site. That's taxsmartinvestors.com. You can get access to content, a weekly strategy newsletter, and we've got some more stuff coming out here shortly. Today's topic is about insurance proceeds. And the question is, if I have a rental property and I have some sort of like some sort of issue, let's say I, I, my house burns down, um, I have flooding, I have wind damage, something along those lines, and then I get insurance proceeds. Are the insurance proceeds taxable? And the answer, of course, is it depends. Uh, if the insurance proceeds exceed the cost to repair the asset, then generally, yes, the insurance proceeds will be taxable. However, if you receive insurance proceeds, you basically have a two-year window to get the improvements done to use up all of the proceeds, but any additional proceeds will generally be taxable. So for example, let's assume that you have to replace your roof and let's assume that it's on a big commercial property. So it's a $100,000 roof, extremely expensive roof. So you've got a $100,000 roof replacement that you have to make. Let's assume that you get $150,000 of insurance proceeds. Of the $150,000, dollars one hundred dollars is gonna go to the roof replacement and the remaining $50,000 is going to be taxable. Now, let's say that you get the $150,000 proceeds up front uh, and you don't immediately replace or repair the roof. You do have two years to use that $150,000 up in order to make it not taxable to you. But if you don't use it up within two years, the insurance proceeds are taxable to you and your rental business. Whenever you have something like this, you'll have to prepare form 4684 to report the basis and the cost of the repairs, as well as the insurance proceeds that you receive. So make sure that you include that in any tax return that you prepare. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Tax Mart Daily. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if anything that I say resonates with you, drop me a comment below. I really love engaging with all of our listeners. Additionally, follow us online. We've got a whole bunch of links below to all of our different social channels and definitely join that Facebook group. Hope to see you in it.